So when we're doing proofs, we've looked at how you can write out the left-hand side equals the right-hand side, or you can do a general you know, algebraic process to prove it. Uh, and this is in general how we're going to do things. So I want to show you a few tricks I think they are going to be really helpful. So sort of pro tip, tricks for proofs. If you want to get any integer, let me just try to show you a few of these that are really important. So any integer at all, um, then I'm going to actually say it's just n. n can be any integer. Ha ha. But if I want an even number, if I want it to be even, think about how you make something even. Even is like 2 or 4 or 6, 8, something like that. Nice easy trick is you just double it. Because no matter what you pick, even if you picked an odd number like 3, if you double it, it always is even. So that's actually really helpful. So that's like a nice little trick. Even numbers, just make them 2n. Well, if you want an odd number, just add 1 to that. Let's say I ended up with like, a, I don't know, 12. Well, 12 plus 1 is 13. That's odd. So you can always take an even number. Watch this carefully. I'm taking an even number, and I add 1 to it. That's sort of what I'm doing here. These are really, really important tricks for these. What if I want consecutive? That means like one number after the other. If I want even numbers, well, the first even number will be 2n. Right? What's the next even number? If I add 1 to it, I have an odd number. I have to add 2 to it. So watch, it's 2n plus 2. And obviously 2n plus 4, 2n plus 6, and so on. So this right here makes it consecutive. Okay, so basically we're always adding... Let's see, we'll draw like this. Adding uh, 2 gets the next even. That's maybe a nice way to say it here. I'll say it like that. Adding 2 gets you the next even. Well, same thing. If you're doing uh, odd numbers, so we want consecutive ones. If I have an odd number like 2n plus 1, that's the first odd number. Then the next one, I have to add 2 to it as well. So 2n plus, let's see, 2 more to that. So that would be plus 3, and so on. So something like this right here. I mean, or sometimes I've seen it, you know, sometimes you can go sort of backwards. You can say like, you know, 2n minus 1 and 2n plus 1. I've seen it like that. You know, you can sort of, you can also add that. So basically there's there's a few different ways of doing it, right? Maybe just make this bigger so I can use it. So like that. So maybe I'll say, so, you know, adding, so like this, just like this. So adding 2 uh, gets you the next odd. So you just got to, you always got to just add 2 because notice 2n minus 1 plus 2 gets you that, and so on. So there's a bunch of different ways of doing it. This is just one way. So let's use this. Let's prove that the difference between an odd integer and an even integer is odd. Well, that sounds a bit confusing. So let's first take a look and let's maybe set some conditions. We'll say let. Well, I need an odd integer. How do I get that? So I'll say let, um, I need an odd number, right? So 2n plus 1. So let 2n plus 1 be any odd integer. That's one thing I can do, right? Any odd integer will be 2n plus 1. Now I also need an even integer, so how do I get an even? I need a different one, so, whoops, by the way I spelt it wrong, you notice I said by, I should say b. So I want something to be any even integer now. Okay, so let me see if I can do that. So I need a different even number. A different even number could be like 2. I need a different letter than n, so maybe I'll call it m. So just 2m. That's any even integer. All right, what's the difference between them now? So let's do that. What's the difference between? So I'll say now, so to speak, I'll say, uh, you know, odd minus even. Let's actually do that. All right, so odd minus even. Let's see, that'll be 2n plus 1 minus 2m. All right, what does that give me? Well, it gives me 2n minus 2m plus 1. I'm just grouping together the things with 2s. That's because I'm going to try to take them out. Look, 2, I'll take out the factor of 2. And do you notice what this gives me? Remember what an odd number is? An odd number is 2 times something plus 1. Look, this is an odd number. Do you see that's sort of the very definition of an odd number? Look, this right here is an odd number. Therefore, I can say I've shown this, right? Look, the difference between any uh, an odd and an even number is always odd. Always. It'll always be 2 times whatever number comes here, even if that's an even or odd number. Multiplying it by 2 makes it even. Adding 1 makes it odd. Ta-da! I've shown this. So, let's try to do another example. 
So we'll go over here and we'll try to do uh, prove that when adding five consecutive integers, the sum is five times the median. All right, I guess I need to get myself an integer. So I'll say, uh, what are my five integers? Well, let's say let, you know, n. I don't even need a let. I'll just make five consecutive integers. I'll make my first one n. The next one, it's got to be one more than that, so n plus one. Next one after that must be n plus two, n plus three, n plus four. Wait, have I have five? One, two, three, four. I have five of them. Good. Now, by the way, what's the median? The median is this one right here. The median is the middle one when you write them in order. So this right here is actually the median. All right, let's do the sum then, because I need to take the sum of these numbers. So what's the sum of all these numbers? Well, it's n plus n plus 1 plus n plus 2 plus n plus 3 plus n plus 4. Let's see what I get. Well, I got 1, 2, 3, 4. I get 5n. I get 5 of those. And I get 1 plus 2, which is 3, plus 3, which is 6, plus 4, which is 10. Do you notice I get 10 right here? All right. Let's take this then and then uh, try to figure this out. Look. Do you notice, by the way, I can take out a factor of 5 here? So I can say 5 times n plus 2. See, that's the same thing as this. They both divide by 5. 5n five over 5 gives me n. 10 over 5 gives me 2. Do you notice, then, what this is? Look, this right here is my answer. That is my sum. And do you notice it's 5 times the median? Because the median was n plus 2. Do you notice? So I have shown this. Quad, Herat, Demonstrata. All right, I'm just trying to show you how we can do these. Let's do another one. Prove that the product of two even integers is always even. All right, I guess I need an even integer. So let. Uh, what do I get for an even number? Let's say a 2n be some even number, right? I need another even integer, so I need another one. Maybe I'll call it 2m. It's another even number. Well, what's the product? Let's actually see about doing that. I'll do the product. Product just means I have 2n times 2m. What do I get then? Well, I get 4mn, don't I? All right. Well, this is like saying it's, I mean, it sounds a little bit silly, but watch, I'm going to do 2 times uh, 2nm. The reason I'm separating it is because I'm trying to see this one right here. Watch carefully. This right here. Remember what an even number is. An even number is just 2 times something. Watch very carefully. Look, I've got an even number. Because 2 times something like that, this right here will be even. This whole answer right here will be even. Because right? it's 2 times something. This is like 2 times n. Even though it's got a 2 in it, it doesn't matter. right? So you have to be able to take out a factor of 2. Because remember, showing something's even is like 2 times something. That makes it even. So I've done it. Quad erat demonstratum. Last one. Prove that when you multiply two odd integers, the product is always odd. Again, let's do let. I need an odd number, so let me make a 2n plus 1 be some odd number. I need another odd integer, so I'll make it 2m plus 1. That's another odd one. Let's multiply them. Okay, so this time here, it's the product, right? So product. By the way, did I do product over here? Yeah, good. I was worried I wrote sum. So the product, let me do that. So I'll do 2n plus 1 times 2m plus 1. Okay, let's figure this out. Let's actually do that. So 2n times 2m is 4nm. Then I have 2n, that's the outside. Inside is 2m, and the inside is 1 times 1. Okay. How do I show that something's odd again? I don't know if you remember that. Let me try to collect all these ones right here together. I'll just collect those ones because I'm trying to get them together. So let me try see if I can do that. So these ones are here. I'll put them together. Um, what could I say? I could say it's, I could take out a factor of 2, in fact. 2 times 2nm plus n plus m. All that plus 1. The reason I do that, watch very carefully. Now I've done it again. Look, this right here is something that is odd. Why is that odd? Because 2 times something plus 1 is always odd. Look, 2 times that mess, whatever that mess gives me, 2 times that plus 1 will always be odd. I've done it. Quad, erat, demonstratum. 
So to see what we've done with these proofs right here, we've done a whole bunch of examples. I just want to try to train you for what to do. The key is don't panic. Use these little tricks right here. You'll be just fine.